Hey everyone, this is Eric with VBAstring.com. Right now we're going to look at the topic of concatenation, some big strange word. Concatenation, which kind of means sticking together. And I want to stick together two strings. So, if I look at my worksheet, I have a. I'm going to pause this, so yeah. Okay. Now, if I have these, uh, if I have a worksheet here with uh, two different names, we have a first name and a last name. We have Jenny and Craig and Bob and Smelly. I want to stick this together, the, the whole, we want to call this field the whole name field. So it's going to be called Jenny Craig. One Jenny Craig to show up here. One Bob Smelly to show up here. Maybe want to do a mail merge. And just have the, the first name. You have the name stored in two different columns. You have a first name column and a last name column. And you want to do that same code. So we'll look at the VBA to do that. Now I go ahead and uh, saying, okay, I want to see my VBA window. So I'm pressing alternate F11. So my first name, or let's say my first sub, is going to be called public, public, sub, combined, name, or let's say whole name, that's, that's more meaningful, whole name. Okay, then I'm gonna have my variable, which is dim str first, first name, first name as, uh, I don't know what that is, string, that's, I use that a lot, this the uh, string, so str last name as string. <coughs> So I'm going to say my first name is going to be equal to whatever, let's see, it's going to be equal to uh, cell A2, cell A2, so cell A2 is going to be a range, range A2, it's your last name going to be equal to range I think it's on the same row so it's B2 it's a different column so my first name and that again I can press F A to step through the code so my first name is going to be Jenny my last name is going to be Cray and notice that I mean if I look at this I'm seeing a space uh, so I'm going to use the trim function to trim that out so after I get this together I'm going to kind of trim it out by uh, I want to get rid of the spaces so I'm going to use the, the trim function trim first or what is this first name and because that dimension I don't need to capitalize because it's going to capitalize because it knows what the name is, as long as it's spelled right. That's one of the nice things about VBA. It knows what the, because uh, you dimension it, it does, okay, well, I'm going to capitalize it. So trim that, and I want to trim the last name before I go ahead and implement it. Make this new big name out of it, so S terrible. Last name. So now let's go back. Um, I left click on this little marker, drag it up. Again, this little marker is is uh, more like a break point. It pauses the code right on this point. You can use break point, which is this, kind of pause the code right at this point. So notice how I get in rid of to say that between that Y and the the parent in the closing quotation marks there's a space 
Well, that trim function is going to take that space out. Okay, and here I don't have space, but I want to clean it up anyway. Okay, concatenation now combine the strings. So, um, oh, I need to have. Uh, let's see, I'm going ahead. Yes, your name. I hope it didn't. Okay, now I can I can dimension this and then pause my code. Uh oh. So if that happens, you can go back. It's short enough. You can run it again. So my whole name is going to be S your name equals S to your first name. Here's where the concatenation. Now I want to combine the first name with the last name. So I'm going to use this ampersand. Ampersand, I'm going to glue, glue that to a space. And then I'm going to glue it again to S your last name. So I have so my first name, glue it to a space. So concatenation is it's these little ampersands here. And, and then I'm going, and then the space is formed by this, this here right here. These, uh, whatever's inside the quotation marks is going to be the text. So uh, I'm just going to Jenny to Craig. I'm moving this up, and now I'm going to. My name doesn't have value yet. But I'm oh now it's Jenny Craig so I'm I'm gonna stick that value that new value Jenny Craig into that cell right there so C2 so range range C2 is gonna be equal to SDR name so I'm drawing that up a bit and bang here I have Jenny Craig my muffled name there. Alrighty. Next, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Oh, for the other name, so we have Bob Smelly. So now we have Bob Smelly. It's gonna be a three, and then a four, or b three, and then still so that's another row. <clears throat> so now I'm pressing F5 because I just want to go through the whole thing real quick. Uh, so uh, Bob Spally comes in there. So I have Jenny Craig and Bob Spally. So I have my, again, I have my first name. I have my last name. I have, I clean them up. Again, I can put comments on this by using this by using that quotation mark, then I can just comment it and get the verbs and that allows you to go back and figure out what you did. It gives you some comment of get the first and last names. Now I want to go ahead and clean clean them the or the Clean the variables of uh, and then combine combine the two variables and then I'm going to write write the end result. Great. So there you have it. That's a whole name.